Uh, my name is Marie Benning. They call me Joyce. I live in Nina, Wisconsin, and I'm just shy of 80 years old. I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, and I had started with the um, problems with my feet. And uh, that's basically why I came here, because I was kind of worried about the neuropathy angle, because I know that can get pretty bad if you don't take care of it. And, but I had a lot of aches and pains because of my age and being overly sedentary. Didn't move around a lot. In fact, I, the word is lazy. And I thought I'd get it checked out. And I made the mistake. I brought my daughter with me. And she says, you're doing it. <laughs> so I have. And I am very glad that I have. I'm not a big, wild believer in doctors anymore, even though I have some in the family. It, I feel like they tend to shuff you off as you get older and make it, you know, well, it's part of aging. I know nothing else worked till I came here. Of course, I wasn't stimulated to, to try anything else. I just kind of left things go. I feel better than I have felt in years. I'm not off balance anymore. My joints don't ache anymore. My muscles don't hurt anymore. And I look in the mirror and say, yeah, you're going on 80, but I don't feel that anymore. I feel like I did 20 years ago. And that's a good feeling. I'd say it's 120% better than it was. And that's no exaggeration on my part. Usually I'd rather complain and say, oh, I got this ache, I got that ache. I don't have any anymore. I would say, give it a try. You won't be disappointed. In fact, I'm trying to get my own son to come in to get something to take care of because he's got a lot of pains because of what he does for a living. Well, this is a, when I came in here to be explain to me what it was. If I'd have come by myself, I might have left it past for a while. But I brought my youngest daughter with me. And uh, she's kind of like I was 30 years ago, very bossy. And she just took it in hand and said, Mom, she says, I'm tired of seeing you in pain. You're coming. She says, and if you can't pay for it, she says, I will. And she did. But the insurance sure helped. And uh, I am so happy that I did. I get out of bed in the morning and I don't ache all over. Where before I hated to get up because I just hurt every place. If you've got the chance to come, try it. You'll like it. I'm Joan. I'm 79 years old and I live in Oshkosh. I have numbness in my toes due to chemotherapy. I don't remember exactly during the, where the, in the chemo it started, but it's, I was told if the numbness did not go away in a year, it would never go away. No, because I was told there was nothing to do. I felt that I was a little off balance at times and didn't feel as confident walking as I would like to. I feel like I'm standing up taller sometimes. I'm amazing myself at what I can do as far as some movements. I sometimes feel I can do a lot more movement and different types of movement than I could before. Give it a try because there are very, very, very helpful people here that take notice of every little thing and try to adjust the treatment for every person. Um, my name is Robert Shimmons. I'm just turned 75. And I live in the condos in Wildwood off uh, Oakwood. I wasn't really diagnosed with, uh, I knew I had no feeling in the soles of my feet. And one of my feet were, I was tripping a lot um, because it spewed out and I'd put my heel down and flat and I'd drag my foot and trip. So I knew there's something wrong. I had told my MD, back at my hometown and then here that I had uh, neuropathy. I said, okay, 
they just uh, they noted it on the chart and that's about it they didn't do anything to rectify it and so i said oh well, okay I, I didn't question it i didn't think it was all that bad until i was evaluated by the staff here and um it was sort of eye-opening no sort of it was eye-opening i like to walk and but there's always that point of being tripping and because I dragged one foot, it seems like, and boy, I, you know, I have fallen more than once. And luckily I was able to roll and get up, but it's embarrassing, number one, and number two, you can certainly hurt yourself. So I did not want to end up with broken hips, broken shoulders, broken whatever, because of falls. So I'm walking now when I walk, I walk heel and toe. I can feel my toes. I can sort of feel my bottom of my feet. My feet are straight. That's nice. Rather than walking along, your feet slapping down. Um, I enjoy that feeling because it's something something new to me now because it's, I've had it for a lot of neuropathy for probably quite a few years. It's nice to be able to start feeling your feet again, the soles of your feet. When you're walking, and that the heel and toe movement I haven't done in a lot, a lot of years, it seems like. And it was getting worse. I, my foot would slap down and it, it would slew out one way. So now my legs are, my feet are straight and I can walk a lot better. And I like walking. I was really skeptical when I came in I came in with my wife, I came in for an evaluation first, and then they, I came in with my wife second, and I listened, listened to you, Robin, you know, about the whole program, and I'm thinking, oh yeah, oh yeah. And finally, my wife said, it sounds good, Bob, I think you should do it. And so I took her advice. She'd like me that anyway. So anyway, and then when, when that happened, First couple sessions were okay, but then you notice a little bit of improvement. Well, that little bit keeps building on each other. And uh, I use my apparatuses that I've received from, from you folks at home. No problem, I just didn't sit in my recliner and use, use them. So it's getting better. Worthwhile, definitely worthwhile. Uh, you know, most people say, well, I can't feel it. There's no problem. Well, there is a problem. And you don't recognize what the problem is until you listen to a physical therapist and, and everybody else talk and, and treat you. And then you start seeing improvement. So, well, I knew my feet were getting bad, but I didn't realize how bad until that. Probably... Well, at least a month thinking about it, you know, and then I thought about the cost and then I thought about this and I thought about that until we sat with you and my wife and she said, you know, I, I, <laughs> I don't need you to be a disabled husband. So I said, yeah, you're right. Ellen Sheets. I'm 77 and I live in Amro. Uh, lymphedema of the left leg, probably from hip surgery three years ago. Well, nothing really at first um, that we tried. Uh, Freighter suggested um, OT and PT and wraps. And so we traveled to Freighter two times a week. And after four sessions, they decided I could do it locally. Um, we had already tried it at Berlin, but that wasn't too successful. So then we went to Aurora and it was just more wraps from the knee down and they just didn't do anything but deform the leg. And as soon as you took the wraps off after they cut into the leg so bad when they rolled down that it just didn't seem to be doing any good because the leg would fill right back out. So after probably a month and a half of that, it was just, they just stopped. And so we just limped along doing whatever until I saw on the uh, Facebook a neuropathy clinic opening on 
Leonard Point Road, and I thought, that's not far away. Try anything once, so we did back in March. A what lot. <laughs> I couldn't get back in my bed anymore. I had to sleep in the recliner for the last probably a year. Um, if I got down the steps, I had to have help getting back up. Of course, during the winter, I didn't go anywhere because it was too slippery to go anywhere, and I wasn't about to go outside, let alone try to maneuver with the walker. Um, so when the weather started getting better, you know, we went back to church. And, but, you know, I'd sit down in the pew and in the open area because I need help getting back up. But uh, when we decided to rejoin the choir, I'd have to sit in the front row in church, which <laughs> was not my forte. But anyway, um, but as therapy went on, I was able to sit in a pew and pull myself up with the next one. And I didn't have to sit in the front row anymore. But getting up from chairs without arms is still difficult. But I couldn't put my shoes and socks on, and now I can. Um, last night I got in bed with putting one leg in first and pulling the other one behind me, which I haven't been able to do for a long time. Oh, I'm getting up and down the steps. Getting down I could do, but getting back up, my daughter used to have to pick up that left foot and place it on the next step, and then I'd step up, and then she'd have to haul that. Now I can do that by myself and get in the house by myself. Still won't go outside by myself without somebody around in case I have a bad day, but generally I can get in and out now. I've been able to get in my own car on the passenger side. And before it was, someone had to put my foot in the car and then rearrange it so that I could get comfortable. Where now, once my foot's in the car, I can, or the van, I can move it by myself. And I can get now my foot out of the car by myself. Um, the last probably month or so, I've been able to step up on the curb um, at the therapy site, which I couldn't do before. Oh, I would highly recommend it because I feel I've gotten the most out of this of any other program that, you know, the anybody's offered. It's an improvement. I mean, it's, it's certainly helped my ability to get around better. And I mean, it, it's, other people notice some things and it's like, I guess I really didn't think about it. I've just done it. Because the lady ahead of me in church, she was like, oh, you stood up. And it's like, oh, well, I guess I've been doing it. <laughs> I'm, I, my name is Betty. I'm 64 years old and I live in Green Lake. I was diagnosed with a neuropathy and also um, I had Lyme disease, which may be attributed to the neuropathy because I was limited on my ability to get around well. So I'm guessing that contributed to having neuropathy. I'm feeling so much better, more energetic, more stamina. I can do a lot more during the day. Um, I'm not as tired as I used to be. I accomplished a, quite a bit more, more confidence. I lost a lot of confidence when you're not feeling the ability to do things physically. You tend to lose confidence and I, I got, I gained a lot of that back. I can be involved in more activities. I'm not left just sitting home and doing the bare minimum of just getting ready for the day and um, just doing things that, you know, I can do more fun activities outside the home, things I couldn't do before. Um, I have goals and plans that I'll be able to walk more farther distances around my property, get down walking back in the backfield, something I haven't done in a few years. Um, I'm working up towards that. And I can I can see that a very possible goal for this fall. Being able to maintain and stay at your house. Right. How do you feel about that right now? I feel much better about it. I I have plans next year that I'll do things. I, I'm kind of missing out on this summer, but next summer um, more working on a fall, my flower bed and doing things that I haven't been able to do in years. I know I'll be able to accomplish a lot more around my property than what I've been able to do.
more walks in the backfield, which is why I live out in the country, things I haven't been able to do. I would say it's it's always a chance to take in anything with medicine and science, whatever. Um, you want to take a chance on something. You never know what the outcome is going to be until you give it a try. Um, I never expected to be where I'm at now. It's far exceeded my expectations and my hopes. And I'm just I'm just pleased and I'm still curious to see how far I can take this. But it's a journey. It's not something that happens overnight, but it's happened pretty quick for me, much faster than I expected that it would, how quickly and that I'm getting improvements, seeing improvements on a weekly basis, if daily. One, one session has changed so many things for me. And then we work on one area and then that area improves and then there's another area that I work on and it, it just keeps snowballing that pretty soon you're, one thing after another is getting resolved and life is so much more improved. Um, it's, it's one of the best things that I've done for my own health. It's um, working with a team of people that understand my situation better than I've understood it myself. Sometimes people don't understand what you're dealing with and what you're going through, um, obviously, because they don't live it. And you don't even understand what's all happening. I'm not always sure what my problems are associated with. I have different things going on. So what's neuropathy? What's the Lyme disease? What's, you know, other things, ailments that I've been diagnosed with? Um, they have people that understand it and can break, break it out and talk about what's happening with you. Um, and fix each problem separately and not just we're not just trying to fix one thing we're fixing multiple things and that's where I see the improvement if you just fix one thing you're not going to improve you need to fix multiple things that are all interrelated with one another but I was at a point that um, I wasn't getting I wasn't living a full life that I wanted to and it's like what do I got to lose? You know, mm -hmm. if you don't have what you need to be happy in life, um, you'll do whatever it takes to get to that point. It's a lot. Of, it's some work. I have things I need to do at home. It's dedication to come to the appointments. Um, but I have never regretted a minute of it. It's so fulfilling. I feel a much better person and just getting back some confidence. I've lost a lot of confidence in my ability to do things. And I have people here that are challenging me. I've never had people doing that in a long time. And they believe in you and they challenge you, which is what helps you be able to take these challenges on and move forward and be a more active person in your life, doing things that you, you haven't done in a few years. It's, it's awesome to be able to get back to that point.